During the interview with the old Catholic missionary bishop his lordship right Reverend Dr. Antonio Rajasilan explained about the old Catholics as follows. Old Catholics are a group of international churches which at various times separated from Rome. The term Old Catholic was adopted to mean original Catholicism. Old Catholic Christians are composed of three sections. 1. The Church of Utrecht which originated in 1724 when its chapter maintained its ancient right to elect the Archbishop of Utrecht against opposition from Rome. 2. The German, Austrian and Swiss Old Catholic Churches which refused to accept the dogmas of the infallibility and the universal ordinary jurisdiction of the Pope as defined by the Vatican Council of 1870. 3. Smaller groups of Slav origin, national church movements among the Poles in the USA 1987, and the Croats 1924, have resulted in the establishment of the National Polish Church in America and in Poland, and of the Old Catholic Church of Croatia. Unfortunately the Polish National Church of America and Canada left the Union of Utrecht in 2003. Their bishops could not agree with the majority in the International Bishops' Conference which was in favor of the opening of the apostolic ministry to women. The Philippine Independent Church established sacramental communion with Old Catholics in 1965. The doctrinal basis of the Old Catholic Churches is the Declaration of Utrecht in 1889. The Old Catholics recognize the same seven ecumenical councils as the Eastern Orthodox Churches and those doctrines accepted by the church before the great schism of 1054. They admit seven sacraments and recognize apostolic succession. They also believe in the real presence in the Eucharist and permit the reception of the Eucharist under one or both elements. The old Catholic churches have an episcopal synodal structure. Bishops, as well as the rest of the clergy, are permitted to marry. All services are in the vernacular. Old Catholic theology views the Eucharist as the core of the Christian Church. From this point of view, the Church is a community of believers. All are in communion with one another around the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, as the highest expression of the love of God. Therefore, the celebration of the Eucharist is understood as the experience of Christ's triumph over sin. The defeat of sin consists in bringing together that which is divided. An active contributor to the Declaration of the Catholic Congress of Munich, in 1871, and all later assemblies, was Johann Friedrich von Schalter, professor of dogmatics at Prague. Von Schalter summed up the results of the Congress as follows, adherence to the ancient Catholic faith, maintenance of the rights of Catholics, rejection of new Roman Catholic dogmas, reform of the Church with constitutional participation of the laity, preparation of the way for reunion of the Christian confessions, reform of the training and position of the clergy, helping the poor and most vulnerable or abused children, women and elderly people and support them to obtain human rights. The 1889 Declaration of Utrecht states the Union of Utrecht believes in Vincent of Leyrens's following quote from his commonatory, all possible care must be taken, that we hold that faith, which has been believed everywhere, always, by all, for this is truly what is Catholic. Old Catholic Orthodox dialogues have taken place since 1931. An agreement on all important theological and ecclesiological issues was reached in 1987. A joint commission with the Ecumenical Patriarchate looks after the implementation of that agreement within the churches. Since the Second Vatican Council the Old Catholic Churches have been in conversation with the Roman Catholic Church. Both on the national and the international level various initiatives were taken in order to discuss the main ecclesiological issues on which the two Catholic ecclesiastical families have different views.